Thank you so much, Dr. Tinajero. Thank you for the deep knowledge and expertise that you bring to the field, that powerful presentation that reminds us of all of the great work that we've done, but then also at the very same time challenges us to keep going and continuing to do the work that still needs to be done. So thank you so very much for, for all of your, your leadership, your support. Please help me thank Dr. Tinajero one more time. Okay, so we have now come to the point in our um, program where we have some awards to uh, give away, some people to recognize. And so several years ago, we began this tradition of recognizing educators in our field um, in order to acknowledge their excellence in education in their role as leaders um, in the schools. We instituted a protocol that involves selection of the recipients by a committee of educators from the area schools. and. This afternoon, um, we would like to introduce you to our outstanding leaders in three categories who are making a positive difference in the lives of students uh, and their families in our community. Uh, just a couple of words about how we did this. They were nominated by their schools or districts, and then a committee selected the finalists. Another committee with no district affiliation then interviewed the candidates, candidates and the, um, the winners were selected. And so now I'd like to turn the podium over to Noni Silva, who is going to do the honors. Hello, everyone. I would like to ask Dr. Dinajero and Pauline Dow, Dr. Dow, to come up so they can hand the, the awards. I wanted to let you know that we had over 71 nominations from across the districts on the three categories. It's the year that we've had the most nominations. So congratulations to all of you. We're going to begin with the Administrator of the Year. The top finalists are um, in your program. We had um, uh, Ms. D Dr. Maritza Garcia from Canutillo. If you would like to stand up, Dr. Garcia. <laughs> Ms. Sandra Spivey from El Paso ISD. and Mr. Viviano uh, Maldonado from Canutillo ISD. Uh, the winner for the Administrator of the Year is Mr. Viviano Maldonado of Canutillo ISD. Mr. Maldonado uh, called us today that he had a minor accident and was not able to walk, so he will not be able. But if Dr. Garcia would receive, oh, his, the board member is here. If you would please come up. Thank you. Would, would Ms. Spivey also come up for a picture? Congratulations to Canutillo ASD for your outstanding administrator. For the Teacher of the Year, uh, the three finalists um, are Mr. Carlos Aceves, if you could please stand up. He's back there. Mirna Kunkel from uh, Ibero Academy. and Marianne Sotelo of El Paso ISD. If you could please stand up. For the Teacher of the Year, we have a tie for first place. So second place goes to Mirna Kunkel of Ibero Academy.
And the two first places for the Teacher of the Year go to Marianne Sotelo of EPISD and Carlos Aceves of Canutillo ISD. Please come forward. Congratulations to El Paso ISD and Canutillo for your outstanding teachers. For the bilingual advocate, we had four finalists. The finalists for the bilingual advocate are Celestina de la Rosa of Canutillo ISD. If you could please stand up. Okay. Ms. Joan Lavis of Canutillo ISD. Irma Sanchez of Isleta ISD. And Steve Salcido of Isleta ISD. Uh, the winner of the Bilingual Advocate Award goes to Irma Sanchez of Isleta ISD. Would, would her principal, Ms. Caldwell, come up to, to the stage as well? And all the finalists. And all the finalists, so you're, you're, you can take the photograph. If you could please come up, all the bilingual advocate finalists. Congratulations to all of you. I just want to make a, a small announcement for tomorrow. As, as you come in, please make sure you get one of these cards. This, these cards have the name of all the exhibitors. As you visit the exhibitors, they will stamp it for you. All the cards that have visited all the exhibitors will enter into a drawing and we are giving away two Kindles and an iPad. So make sure tomorrow when you come in you have one of these cards and you go and visit all the exhibitors. For parking, the university gates will be open so you can park on campus. You will not be towed away. You will not be sighted. But also the parking garage on Sumble Drive will be open for all of you, free of charge. Okay. Thank you, everyone.